the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's give God some praise and be here today. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We welcome you to our morning service. Let's prepare our hearts and minds for scripture and prayer. Thank you. Good morning. Our scripture will be coming from Matthew 26, verse 26 through 30. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung in him, they went out into the Mount of Olives. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Angels bow before you. Heaven and earth adore you. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Dear Lord, we come this morning and say thank you, our merciful Father. We thank you, Lord, for your love, your grace, and your mercy, our merciful Father. We thank you, Lord, for the blood, Lord, you shed way back on Calvary, our merciful Father. We thank you, our merciful Father. You didn't have to do it, but you did, our merciful Father. Lord, we just want to say praise you this day, our merciful Father. Lord, break every chain right now, our merciful Father, Lord. Lift burdens right now, our merciful Father, Lord. Men broken hearts right now, our merciful Father. We plead the blood of Jesus right now, all our lives right now, our merciful Father. Bless this service, Lord, as only you can, our merciful Father. Be in the midst of it right now, our merciful Father, Lord. I pray for Pastor Mallon as he come, Lord, and give a word, our merciful Father. Throw him on high. Give him strength and mercy and grace, O oh Lord. Walk with him, our merciful Father. Talk with him, our merciful Father, Lord. We love him. We adore you right now, Lord. Pray for all the sick right now. All the sick, all the shut in, our merciful Father. We thank you, Lord. We're going to give your name all the praise and all the glory on this day, our merciful Father. For you're a good God, our merciful Father. You're a good God, our merciful Father. A mighty God. We're going to praise you right now. These are the blessings of access. In Jesus' name, for his sake, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. What a mighty, mighty, mighty God we serve. And as we serve our God, it's a good thing to have memory. Because what was instituted in the Old Testament in the Jewish culture, the most sacred day on their religious calendar was to celebrate the Passover. Amen. It was to celebrate the fact if you go to Exodus chapter 12, yes, they celebrate the fact that when Jesus, excuse me, when God spoke to Moses and to Aaron, gave them instructions about what to do. Because the last plague was getting ready to happen over the land of Egypt. After 430 plus years of bondage, we're given clear instructions about what lamb to kill, what sacrifice to make, and where to place the blood of the lamb that was slain. It was to be placed in three places. On top of the door and on both sides. Three spots for the blood. And because of the blood, if the blood was on the doorpost, everybody who was in the house, their life was spared when the death angel came through. How many know it's good to be in the right house? You and I need to be in a blood-covered house. 
was just not covering the doorposts on the top, but got it covered on both sides. What a covering to walk under. What a covering to live under. So when the death angel came, death happened all over the land. There were sounds of wailing. There were songs of mourning. There were sounds of crying. Even in the palace, the king himself was not spared. Matter of fact, the judgment was so severe, it did not only impact humans, it impacted cattle. So not only did death happen in the house, death happened in the stable. But thank God there was another stable. Thank God that wasn't the last stable. Thank God there was a manger when there was no room in the inn. Thank God for provision he had already made for you. And he made it for me. So the last meal that Jesus shared in before he went to the garden of Gethsemane, he sat with his disciples. He did then what they did in the, New, in the Old Testament. He said, let's celebrate this moment. And that's what we're getting ready to do now. Because he said, as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. This is not a ritual for us. This is part of our worship. We're not doing this because it's a certain date on the calendar. We're doing this because it's a part of our worship. We're remembering his broken body. He was broken so we could be made whole. His blood was shed so we could be saved. So let's celebrate his broken body as we eat together. Let us partake. Scripture is clear, for without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Payment had to be made, and it had to be made in blood. His blood was for you. His blood was for me. Let's remember together. Father, thank you for this moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you that we remember what you did for us. Help us to always be a mindful people. To never forget what you did and continue to have great expectation for all that you will do. Now have your way. This day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ the Let's sing that together in one voice. Oh, come. Oh, come. Come on, 
Let's say that again in three parts. Oh, come. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us let us adore. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, let us, oh, come, oh, Come on, let's sing for he alone is worthy. For he For he alone is worthy. Come on, let's worship the Lord this morning. For he alone is worthy. Yes, he is. For he alone. And we call him Christ. You all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. All the glory. We give you all the glory. Come on, Jesus Christ. Let's say that again. We give you all the glory. I've made up in my mind that I'm going to give you all the glory. No failure. Does anybody know that to be true this morning? One more time, sing it. In him there's no failure. Put those hands together and give God a praise. All over this house, can you put those hands together and give God a great praise? For we come to celebrate his name. We come to say that there's nobody like him. We come to give him what's due. Hallelujah. Come on, keep those hands going. Let's put those hands together. This is a celebration this morning. Oh! 
Lord, I love you. 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 Lord, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I can say I love you, Lord. You say more than anything. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Because you've been so good to me. Yes, I do. Anything. Come on, put those hands together. I wish I had a couple of folks that could get excited this morning. Hallelujah to your name, oh God. Let's sing it again. Sing it. Lord, I love you. One more time, I love you, Lord. Love you, Lord. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. I love you, Lord. Love you you say more than anything. More than anything. Put the love more than anything. Come on and put those hands together. Come on and put those hands together. Come on and put those hands together. You say more than anything. When we say more than anything, I love you, 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 I love you. When we say more than anything, I bless you, 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 and I'll say more than anything. So I'll serve you, 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 and you say more than anything. I love you, 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 yes I do. Come on, let's lift up this last part. Say, I love you, 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 I love you. When you say more than anything, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. When we say more than anything, I love you, I love you, I love you. Said I love you. I love. Said more than anything, I love you. I love. Yes I do. I love you. I love. When we say more than anything, put those hands together. Let's go. We love you this morning, Jesus. We love you this morning, Jesus. Whoa. Said again, said I love you. 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 Say more than anything. Say more than anything. I love 
worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Said you're worthy. Said you're worthy. Not you're worthy. You're worthy. Said you're worthy. Said you're worthy. Said you're worthy. Oh, listen. Break the music for one second. So, I shared a post the other day that I saw, and it said that God can do a lot by December 31st. I don't know if anyone heard me, but I said God can do a lot by December 31st. So I'm not sure what you're standing in the need of this morning. I'm not sure what you're believing God for this morning. But I promise you, while you wait on for God to perform it, if you praise him, I said, if you praise him, watch some things begin to unlock in your life. Praise is always in order. Praise is always in order. So here's what we're gonna do. I want you to get that one thing on your mind that you're believing God for. Get just that one thing that you're believing God to do by the end of the month. And while the band plays, I just want you to release a praise in the atmosphere. I want you to release a praise in the atmosphere that makes the devil nervous. I wish I had a few folk that's not scared that will use the authority that God has given them. And so on the count of three, we're gonna release this praise. One, two, one, two. Everybody praise, come on. That's it, people of God, release your praise. I believe that some things are happening right now in the spiritual realm. I believe that some things are happening even right now in the spiritual realm. You may not be able to see it with your natural eyes, but we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Come on, come on, come on. Help us say that I love you. I love you. I love you. I won't stop praying. Won't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Said I won't stop praying. Won't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Said I won't stop praying. Won't stop praying. Said I can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Said I won't stop praying. Won't stop praying. Said I can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. No matter what comes. Won't stop praying. No matter what comes. Can't stop praying. Said I won't stop praying. Won't stop praying. Said I can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. I won't stop praying. I can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Said I won't stop praying. Won't stop praying. Said I can't stop praying. Can't stop praying. Say I love you. I love you. I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you. And we say more than anything. I love you. I love you. Said I love you. I love you. I love you. And we say more than anything. Said I love you. I love you. Said you're worthy. Because you're worthy. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, and we say more. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. More than anything. More than anything. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
We're going to keep on loving on our Father this morning through prayer. We're going to keep on loving on our Father this morning through intercession. We just come out of a season of fasting, and we've been repenting. But how many of you know that repenting is not a one-time thing? It's a lifestyle of repentance. So as we go to the Father this morning, we're going to the Father with a spirit of expectation. We have been bound for too long. We have been held up by some things for too long. But today is a day of deliverance, and we're believing God to move in this place. We're believing God to answer the prayers. We're believing in God to lift burdens. We believe in God on this place. Day as we move into intercession, as we just thank our Heavenly Father, as we just lay before Him this morning to answer those things that have been weighing on us. So Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We bless your holy name, God. We love you this morning, God, for there is no one like you, Father God. We have looked high and we have looked low and we have found no one like you, God. So this morning, we just want to pause and just tell you thank you Father God we just want to pause and tell you that we love you Father God we just want to pause and tell you that you are great and you are mighty God and we thank you Father God God this morning God search our hearts God you know those things God that are in us God that are not like you God those habits those lifestyles those ways God God we come to you this morning and we repent God we return God from those wicked ways God and we turn unto you God God we renounce God every Every sin in our life, God. We come out of agreement on today, God, with those lifestyles. We come out of agreement with those habits, God. We come out of agreement with behaviors, God. We come out of agreement with those covenants that we made with the enemy, whether knowingly or unknowingly, God. And today, God, we declare, God, that we surrender unto you, God. We declare, God, unto you, God, that you have reigned dominion and rule over our life, God. Today, we come with a surrender, God. We give you a yes and we yield we give you a yes and we yield God every heavy burden God we cast it unto you God for we know that you care for us God God we thank you God for strengthening us God we thank you God we know that we are able God to walk the life that you have called us to walk God because you have said greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world God so God now today I lift up to you God every person that's heavy burdened God I lift up to you God those who have ways the things that are weighing heavily on their heart God and I ask God that you would move God that you would speak a word of peace God in the name of Jesus God for you are Jehovah Shalom God and we thank you God right now God God we thank you God for being the miracle worker God we thank you God for being Jehovah Rapha God we stand up in our kingdom authority right now God and we declare God that you are the God who healeth thee God we speak to the infirmity in our lives God and we declare that there no longer has a place in our life that we are healed by your stripes we are healed and we thank you father god for what you're doing in our lives god god i speak god to every financial situation god and even now god we declare god that you are jehovah jara god all the cattle on a thousand hill belong to you god god so we cast god we cast we throw it away we cast every care upon you god god i thank you father now god for being with those god in this season of bereavement god god there is no sorrow that is too heavy for you God God I pray God even now that they would experience your love in an even greater way God that you would envelop them in your arms God God I pray God right now God that you would be with this new home family God God be with this ministry I speak and I declare prophetically over this ministry that every plan and purpose that you have declared for this ministry that it shall come to pass God God that we will stand up as your kingdom women and kingdom men God and we will stand in your authority God we will walk God as kingdom men and women God knowing God that we are fearfully and wonderfully made God that we are the righteousness of God that we are seated in heavenly places God that we have been created in your similitude and in your image God and we will not back down we will not cower we will not give place to the enemy but on today we stand and declare our victory God we don't fight for victory we fight from a place of victory because you've already won the war and we just thank you Father God we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise God for what you're doing even now we're walking in our deliverance we're walking in our victory we're walking in every purpose and plan that you've already declared for our life God so God even now bless your people breathe in 
this place, God, as we surrender, as we lay it all before you, God, as we yield unto you today, God, believe in this place. Holy Spirit, have your way. We give you permission to reign and rule in our lives, God. We give you permission, God, to have your way. We no longer doing it our way, God, but we are aligning ourselves with your blueprint and your plan for our lives, God, knowing that your way is best for us, God. God, so we thank you, Father God. We give you glory and honor. It's in your son Jesus' name that we pray. May all the saints of God say amen. 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 And amen. Good morning, you home. Has God been good to you? You fasted for four days? And now we give, come to give God. It's time to give God what belongs to him. He has blessed us tremendously. Nice clothes. Everybody looks beautiful. Beautiful cars. And all he asks back is 10%. A little bit. That's all he asked for. So it's time to give back to God. In your tithes and your offerings and your sacrificial blessings. So now we just ask you to do as the Holy Spirit guide you to. It is now in the hands of the usher follow the instructions. Thank you. Let us pray. Oh, Father God, our great provider. Father, we thank you for all that you have given and all you have done for us. And it's with joy that we give back to you, Father God. We thank you for your many blessings and your continual sense of salvation of our souls. We love you, Lord. We thank you that these offerings and our tithes may be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom, may be shaken, pressed down, and overflowing, Lord. Touch it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, before I go, I, I, um, I was asked to make a short announcement. 
uh, on the 18th of December, as most of them must have, must have noticed, that a pastor likes to wear a vest. And there are, uh, there are other few brothers in this church here that likes to wear a vest, <laughs> uh, and sisters. So on the 18th, we are having our vest day. So if you have a vest, we ask you to wear it on that day so that we all look, as usual, nice together. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. I love you in your home, nation. God bless. Have a wonderful service. Enjoy the rest of your week. God bless. Good morning, New Home Nation. Welcome to December. Special thanks to everyone who participated in our corporate fast over the past three days. What an incredible way to begin the month. Three days in prayer, fasting, repentance, and seeking God for all that is ahead. Now that we have made our request, I hope you are ready to hear God's response. Here's what's happening this week. Join our Word Wednesday Zoom Bible study at 7 p.m. as we begin our new series entitled Holiness Matters, taken from 1 Thessalonians 3, verse 13. Also, if you are between the ages of 6 through 21, join the Youth Bible Study Zoom on Wednesday at 8 p.m. for a study of the battlefield of the mind. See the flyer or contact the youth ministry member for more details. On Friday, December 9th at 7 p.m., the Brotherhood Ministry will fellowship at the BJ's Restaurant located at Bowie Town Center in Bowie, Maryland. Males of all ages are invited. Please see the flyer for more information. On Saturday, December 10th at 11 a.m., New Home Nation will continue our monthly outreach ministry partnership with Charter Senior Living Center of Bowie. This is a wonderful opportunity to present the gospel of the kingdom, and if you would like to assist, please let us know. Also on Saturday, December 10th, Join the 4th Annual Project Warm Heart Fun Fellowship Zoom at 2 p.m. You will definitely enjoy this presentation and also have an opportunity to see some of the children and families that you supported with your generous financial contributions. See the flyer for more details. On Thursday, December 15th at 7 p.m., join the Marriage and Enrichment Ministry for a night of comedy as they close out the year with fun and laughter viewing the Christian comedian Michael Jr. in a comedy special, Laughing on Purpose. New Home Nation, this is an announcement you're going to want to be invested in. Okay, save the date. On Sunday, December 18th, during our worship service, all members are encouraged to wear a vest to support Pastor Medlock, the vision, and our ministry. Any color vest is acceptable. Our focus is vested and invested in unity. Again, it's vested and invested in unity. Please also invest by giving a special sacrificial offering through online giving and the Givelify app, by mail or during our in-person worship service. New Home Nation, love goes a long way to help us support those in need, especially during the holiday season, which can be a time of mixed emotions for so many individuals and families. Let's continue to reach out to show love and support those who have been impacted by tragic events, sickness, death, and other life challenges. Let's follow the command of Jesus to love others just as he has loved us. Okay, New Home Nation, you know what time it is. Happy birthday, anniversary, or special occasion to anyone celebrating. Today is your special day, so celebrate big. For today's inspiration, we once again turn to the Word of God. Matthew 5, 16. Here it is. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Family, in the season that's filled with lots of decorations, trees, and lights, let your light be the brightest light in the room. For additional info about these announcements and other events, please visit our website at newhomebc.org. Again, I'm Chris. Thank you for worshiping with us today. We can't wait to see you again next Sunday.
the Lamb. Everybody sing. Sing glory, glory to, the to the Lamb. Glory, glory to, the Lamb. to the Lamb. Sing glory, glory to, the Lamb. to the Lamb. Sing for His Alpha. For he's alpha. For he is alpha. And don't make it. I wish I had a few worshipers that will help us lift that up this morning. We sing glory, glory to the Lamb. For never forget your sacrifice, oh God. Stay right there and say it again. Sing glory, glory to the Lamb. The Lamb that was slain for the world. We lift our voices and we cry. We sing glory to the Lamb. Come on, let's take it up a little higher. Sing glory to the Lamb. To the Lamb that was slain. For the Lamb that was slain for my sins. We sing glory, glory to. Glory to, glory to, glory to, come on, let's shout it out. Glory to the Lamb, we sing glory, glory to the Lamb, we ascribe glory and honor, dominion and power and all belongs to the Lord. Say that again. Say glory, glory to the Lamb. To the Lamb. We worship you, oh God. Glory to the Lamb. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. Say glory, glory to the Lamb. This time, sing glory. Cause you're worthy, worthy is, the is the Lamb. Say worthy, worthy. Only you are worthy. Only you are worthy. Worthy, worthy is, the is the Lamb. Say it faithful. Yes, He is. Time after time after time, you've been faithful. The land. The land. Yeah, in faithful. We know who you are, oh God. You are faithful. faithful. It's the land. It's the land. Come on, let's call his name. Say Jesus. Jesus. Come on and call on that greatest name that you know. Say Jesus. Jesus. He is the land. Jesus. 
Worship the Lamb of God, the Lamb that was slain for our sins. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve His sacrifice. But we're grateful this morning. No other God could do it but you. No other God could do it but you. Let's call His name one more time. Sing Jesus. of your hands. The presence of the Lord is here. And because he's here, everything that you need is here. Whatever you may be standing in the need of, if, if you're standing in the need of healing, Jehovah Rapha is here. And by faith, you ought to receive your healing even right now. And his name is Jesus, there's healing in the land. There's healing in the land. Can you sing that in one voice? There's healing, healing in the land. There's healing in the land. There's healing here in the land. Healing for your body. Healing for your soul. Healing for your spirit. There is healing in the land. There's healing in me. Say there's healing, healing. Oh my God, my God. Say it again. There's healing, there's healing. You ought to receive it right now. Say there's healing. God is still doing miracles. God is still doing miracles. There's healing. Whatever you need is in the Lamb. Sing breakthrough, break. Whatever you need, I know a man, there's breakthrough. You don't have to be bound. You don't have to be bound. You can be free. There's breakthrough. Say breakthrough. There's breakthrough. Breakthrough. Say deliverance. 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 deliverance, it's all in the Lamb. Deliverance, deliverance. receive it right now. Deliverance, deliverance. sing pray through, pray through, pray through, pray through, pray through, pray through, call his name, sing Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, one more time said Jesus, we love to call the name of Jesus, said Jesus, oh Jesus, so glory to that Lamb, glory praise and glory to the Lamb of God. Glory, 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 
Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the stay in that place this morning and just continue to worship the Lamb of God the Lion of Judah hallelujah he's in this place there are few folk who could not wait to get into the house of the Lord now that you're here come on look at your neighbor and tell them now that you're here I'm going to get what I really need from the Lord come on somebody ought to build your tent Somebody ought to fill your altar right where you are. He's listening. He has healing hands. There's healing in this place. There's deliverance in this place. You ought to get what you really need from the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Somebody ought to throw your head back and shout glory. If you got what you really need from the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. All praise and glory to the Lamb that was slain. The glory of our Father. He's mighty strong. He's mighty to save our sons and our daughters. He is just mighty. Look at somebody and tell them, my God is mighty. And he's doing a mighty work on the inside of me right now. Can't you see it? Can't you see it? Come on, if you know that God is working in your life, look at your neighbor and say, you should be able to see it by now. I'm not the same. I don't go where I used to go. I don't say the things I used to say. Hallelujah. My attitude has changed. Because I'm sitting in the presence of my God. He showed me some things about myself. And look at somebody and tell them, it ain't, I'll never be the same again. I'll never be the same again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can somebody bless the Lord right where you are? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to lift up your voice in this place. Come on, look at, come on. You got to know that you're living. You have to live above the noise that's in your life. You got to live above the noise and pestilence in our lives. Hallelujah. And give God the glory. And give God the praise. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many of you know he's worthy? He's worthy. He's so worthy to be praised. All praise to our Father and Savior Jesus Christ. For he is just wonderful. We thank him for his goodness. We thank him for his grace. We thank him for his mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To my lovely wife. My cupcake of many flavors. Love you. To Reverend Brown, Lady Brown in her absence, we're praying for you. Yes, to Reverend Johnson, Mother Johnson, to Chairman Perkins, Deaconess Perkins. Chairman Lockhart and Deaconess Lockhart and to every one of our officers and every one of you 
to my mother and to Mother Hicks and family. It's good to have you with us this morning. Mother Hicks, when you get home, can you just give the biggest hug that you can give to First Lady Hicks and Pastor Hicks? Kiss them and tell them how much we love them. We love them greatly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to all of you, what a wonderful day it is to be found in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Everlasting God, our Father, we thank you for the impartation of your spirit in our lives and how you have worked so expressly in our lives. In these three days of fasting and repenting of the things that we know that is an error to our faith. God, we thank you right now, God, for showing us us. Yeah, God, thank you for showing us all the things that never ever have given you pleasure. We thank you for this opportunity to make things right before you and to return unto you, dear Father. God, we pray, God, that this house will continue to be a house of worship and praise and never cause your face to frown. We pray that you would just have your way in the midst of us. We know, God, that you've made record of every request. And we thank you, God, for honoring your word, honoring every promise that you've given us. Help us now, God. Strengthen every saint. Save every sinner in this house. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. And amen. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell them, I got it. I really got it. Let's tell somebody, I got it now. I got it. I got it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We want to continue in this lesson that we started last week. Hallelujah. Let us turn to Hebrews, the sixth chapter. We're going to continue where we, from where we were. Verse 19 and 20. And it reads, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. Whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. May God add a blessing to his already blessed word. For a subject, for a theme, look at your neighbor and tell him that I'm holding on to my hope. I'm holding on to my hope. I realize that sometimes in this life I'm going to be tossed by the wind and the current that seems so fierce but in the word of God I, I got an anchor and it keeps me steadfast unmovable despite the time oh, oh, oh. and if if the storm if the storm don't see and 
just in case the wind, if it keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been. I realize that sometimes in this life I'm gonna be torn by the winds and the current that seems so fierce. But in the word of God, I got an anchor and it keeps me steadfast unmovable despite the time and if the storm if the storm don't and just in case the wind, if it keep on blowing in my life, can you help me say it? My soul, my soul, my soul has been. Lord. God, remember that the pillows may roll, the breakers may dash. I shall not fear because they hold me fast. So not today. soul is aching. My soul has been anchored in, in the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody's soul aching in Jesus? Anybody's soul ain't getting the Lord. You ought to give the Lord the praise. You ought to give the Lord the glory. Hallelujah. Woo. It was good to get that out. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Anybody come to worship his name this morning? Thank you, Father. I'm holding on to my hope. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I'm holding on to my hope. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Jesus. After discussing the absolute dependency that we have in every word that God has spoken, every word that God ever said, the writer of Hebrew now expounds on the significance, on the stability of the Christian hope. And it's important for us to understand that there are different hopes. Hope can be seen in different ways. There's a hope for the hopeless. There is a hope for the certainty. Hope for the hopeless is like, I hope this will happen. It's like I hope that the Dallas Cowboys will go to the Super Bowl. Amen. 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 I, I think I, somebody didn't like that. I hope that we're able to go to Las Vegas. Let me put it there. But there is the hope that enters the realm of faith. A hope of assurance that what God has promised will happen. Will happen. It just haven't happened yet. But look at somebody and tell them it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen because it's a sure thing. It's going to happen because hope is in that which is sure. And I don't know who this is for, but as soon as natural hope dies, supernatural hope can come alive. Because 1 Peter 1 and 3 says, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And I come to tell you this morning, you can always tell those who have a lively hope. They just can't quiet themselves. There's no quit in them. The Lord has quickened them on the inside. Those who have a lively hope can see things that others can't see. Because when hope is alive in you, there's always a possibility of a positive outcome. Because Hope is that favorable confidence that we have in the Lord, our reliance upon him that can bring deliverance even in unthinkable situations. Because he says when I hope, when it is laid hold upon Christ as an anchor of the soul, it said it's both sure and steadfast. An anchor used on a ship holds the ship in a certain place. When an anchor is thrown off a ship, it holds the ship steady. An anchor keeps the ship from floating aimlessly about. In the midst of a storm, it, it holds a ship from floating aimlessly in forbidding shores. But notice that the anchor of our soul, 
look at the scriptures, is both sure and steadfast. <laughs> Means that it is a hold that is fixed Amen. and firm in our faith in Jesus Christ. Say that. Say that. <laughs> meaning, meaning, evangelist branch that it holds the soul as an anchor holds a ship from drifting in the dangerous waters of this life. Which it further indicates that it will sustain, it will hold the believer steady. Meaning that when you have an anchor in Jesus Christ, God ain't going to let you fall. Tell it! Tell it! You may slip, but God will catch you before you fall. God will sustain you and hold the believer steady no matter what the situation and no matter what this season in your life looks like. Because the anchor of your soul Look at somebody and tell them it's a sure thing. All you got to do is look at how many times the Lord saved you from a shipwreck. It's because your anchor was holding. Hmm? All you got to do is look at how many times that God saved you from drifting toward some wretched thing. Look at somebody and tell you, you better make sure your anchor holding. Ain't nobody talking back to me this morning. It's good to know, it's good to know that when the storms of life are raging, when strong, unimaginable temptations suddenly fall upon us that your anchor is holding that your soul is anchored in someone outside of yourself anybody glad about that that your anchor is holding into something beyond yourself anybody here glad to know that your soul is anchored in the Lord Anybody here glad to know that your anchor is holding? Look at verse 19. It says, which hope we have, an anchor of the soul. Who said that they were so glad a minute ago? Oh, me too. Me too. Both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. The writer of Hebrew notes that this Supernatural hope enters in the inner sanctuary within the veil. The most holy place. That's it. The most sacred That's it. place. And I'm so glad to know that this great veil that separated God from man, that separated us, that alienated us from God to man, when Jesus died upon that old rugged cross, the veil was torn from top to bottom. Anybody glad that veil was torn? And it opened up the way for us to enter into the presence of God himself. Yeah. 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 Woo, I'm almost finished. It says, whither the forerunner is for us entereth. Even Jesus made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. I have to tell you this morning that Jesus Christ, our high priest, had done some things that an earthly preach has never done before. He's done some things that our earthly priests were never capable of. He went into the holies of holies 
once and forever and never had to come out again. And I come to tell you this morning, now that the Lord has entered in the most holy place on our behalf, that means that the barriers that has kept us from entering God's presence have now been torn away. That means you can go to God anytime, anytime, any place. You can get into the presence of God and you can tell him just what you really need from him. You can tell him how much you love him. You can tell him how much you adore him. Tell him how much you depend upon him. You can do it anytime, any place. God made an uncomprehensible way for us to follow him. And now, Reverend Peoples, we can come boldly into the presence of our God. And the simple fact that he's our high priest forever, the simple fact that he's sitting on the right hand of the Father and he's pleading our case. He's right now talking to our Abba Father. He's pleading our case. He's talking to the Father on our behalf right now should be every reason that we ever had to give God the praise. Anybody glad that he's praying for you? Anybody glad the Lord is pleading your case? Anybody glad that he's talked to the Father and the charges that you should have been on your life, he dropped the charges? Look at somebody tell him, you were guilty, but he dropped the charges. You were at fault, you were wrong, you were wretched, you were dirty, but he dropped the charges. Is anybody going to praise the Lord in this house this morning, knowing that God is pleading, that the Lord is pleading your case right now? I'm on my way to my seat, but I have to tell you that spiritual boldness is a humble thing. Minister Shavi's spiritual boldness is a holy freedom that only comes to those who have a confident hope in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If y'all help me, I can get out of here. But I come to tell you that you got to be confident in the things of God. You got to be confident in the everything that God has spoken. Every word that has come out of his mouth. You ought to tell somebody that it is a sure thing. Whatever God said, look at somebody and tell them that it's going to come to pass. It's a done deal. It's a sure thing. Whatever God said, that settles it. Whatever God said, it's just a matter of time. Whatever God said, you ought to look at somebody and tell them it's a done deal. Is anybody in this place really wanting something from the Lord? Let me suggest to you that you ought to unleash the bolder part of you. You ought to set yourself free. You ought to unleash that which is holding you back. You ought to prophesy to yourself and say, self, I'm no longer in bondage. Self, I'm no longer locked in chains. Self, my breakthrough is still ahead of me. Better things are still ahead of me. Somebody ought to unleash the bolder part of you and go after everything that the Lord has promised you. You can shout until times get better. 
when you believe in your own self uh, that it's better uh, if you get bold. Uh, are there any bold folks uh, in the house this morning? Uh, you can get uh, whatever God has for you. Uh, but look at somebody uh, and tell them you gotta be bold. Uh, you gotta be bold. Uh, you can take back uh, what the enemy stole. Uh, you can get it back uh, when you're bold. Uh, look at somebody uh, and tell them I'm bold, I'm bold. Uh, you can dance uh, on the dance floor. Uh, when you learn uh, to be bold, uh, the dance floor uh, is always open uh, to those uh, who have unleashed uh, the bolder part. Uh, of you I come to tell you whatever you do hold on to your hope and don't let it go hold on keep the faith run the race don't give in hold on with full assurance because whatever God promised he got the power to bring it to pass. I don't care. Don't limit God. Don't let your request be too low. Don't let your request be too little. But trust the Lord anyhow. Trust the Lord and never let go. I come to tell you that when you got uh, a hope uh, and you're holding on, uh, you can make it. Uh, you can hold on uh, to what the Lord said. Uh, I come to tell you, uh, you got to hold on uh, to what the Lord said. Uh, even when uh, it looked foolish, even when uh, what the Lord said, uh, it brought the attention uh, of all the naysayers uh, and they said it wouldn't happen uh, you gotta hold on to it uh, you gotta trust the Lord anyway uh, you gotta trust him uh, and never let go uh, you gotta trust him uh, when you're in the deep waters uh, you gotta trust him uh, when things look bleak uh, you gotta trust him uh, I come to tell you uh, that the bolder folk uh, have confidence uh, in the Lord uh, because anybody uh, who don't have confidence uh, will drown uh, on dry land uh, you got to hold on uh, because your soul uh, is anchored uh, in the Lord uh, I wish there was at least three folk uh, who understand uh, that if your soul wasn't anchored uh, that you wouldn't be here uh, that if your soul wasn't anchored uh, you would have drifted uh, away uh, a long time ago uh, but look at somebody uh, and tell them uh, that my anchor uh, is holding uh, you may not see it uh, because when your anchor goes down in the water uh, you just got to know that it's holding uh, our anchor uh, is within the veil by faith, I'm holding on. By faith, my anchor is holding. I wanted to give up a long time ago. But somebody ought to pull on that anchor and say, my anchor is holding. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And never let go. Somebody ought to hold on. Hold on, my hope is built on nothing left than Jesus' love and his righteousness. Anybody over here have committed your heart to the Lord and you're going to hold on, hold on, and never let go. Hold on, hold on. I wish I could play this thing. But I better stay in my lane. Hold on. Anybody in here happy 
in Jesus alone. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see you pull on that anchor. Your anchor is holding. That means there is nothing that God cannot do. It means there is nothing that the Lord can't keep you from. When the storms of life are raging, tell somebody, my soul is anchored. My soul, my soul is anchored. Sometimes the wind wanna blow you this way. But because my soul is anchored, it pulled me right back in line. My soul, the enemy, he seeks to blow you right away from here. But there anybody in here glad to know that you know, that you know that you know, that your soul is anchored in the Lord. Is there anybody in here got a praise that you can put with knowing that our God is an all-sufficient God, that our God, he's an all-knowing God. Our God, he will never disappoint you. Our God is always dependable. Trust the Lord with all that heart and lean not to thy own understanding in all of your ways. Trust him and he will. He will make a way out of nowhere. I gotta get out of here. But the grass withers, the flowers faded away. But the word of God will stand in the midst of all storms. The word of God will stand in the midst of every struggle. The word of God will sustain you. Trust the word. Trust what the Lord says. And everything will be all right. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody lift the Lord up. Somebody, you ought to just go ahead and do your dance. Do your dance. Do your dance. Because your soul is anchored in the Lord. Praise it when you know that your soul is anchored. It won't break if you keep trusting him. It won't let you go if you keep trusting him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he done, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for raising me. I thank God for picking me up. I thank God for turning me around. I thank God for breaking the chain that were holding me. Somebody ought to bless the Lord. Let me come over here.
talking to you. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Just look at somebody tell them, this is my holding on to my whole praise. Oh, just run back and forth with me real quick. Come on, you ought to run until something happens. I love this deacon right here. Yes, sir. Somebody ought to unleash the bolder part of you and do something that you never did before. Give God a praise that you never gave him before. Somebody ought to just get out in the aisles. Somebody ought to do something. Somebody ought to give God the glory. Give God the praise. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Y'all look, look at this mother right here. Look at this mother right here. Woo. My God. Yeah. My, my. Mama, can you come out here and do that? Can you come out here and do that? Come out here and do that. Look at it. Somebody ought to give God the glory. He's kept it. Somebody didn't think they was going to make it to the end of this year. To this first Sunday morning. But God kept you. He kept you. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. You ought to unleash it. This ain't got nothing to do with the enemy. You ought to unleash yourself. You ought to command your soul to praise the Lord. Nah, 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 nah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. You go ahead on the break to my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I understand. I understand. I understand. I feel better now. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, go ahead, Dr. O. This is a good time to praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's help our praise the name of Jesus. My, 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 my. Come on, look at somebody tell him it's under my feet. The enemy is under my feet. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's in the building. He's in the building.
Come on, if you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he done for you, you have a reason to bless the Lord as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's the keeper. What I really love about the Lord, if he don't bring you out, he'll sure keep you while you're in it. I really love the Lord. And I won't take it back. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just thank the Lord right where we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so worthy. Huh? Mm -hmm. He is. He's a covenant keeping God. Whatever he said, that settles it. Whatever he promised you, he will bring a performance of it. Now, what he promised me may not be what he promised you. So whatever he promised you, he's a keeper of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody want Jesus in this house this morning? If you don't have him in your life, you ought to come just as you are. You ought to come. You ought to get up out of that seat. Make a decision to follow Jesus. He's opened up the doors. He's torn down the veil. A petition that separated us from the presence of God. Everything is set. Everything is set for your salvation, for the surety of eternal life. All you have to do is come in faith believe in your heart believe in your heart that God raised his only begotten son from the grave believe that he raised him up from the grave on the third day with all power in his hand and salvation could be yours today is there anybody in this place don't want to leave the way they came? If you're not sure about your salvation, just raise your hand. We have come to where you are. It's no mistake that you're here. You ought to look at your name and tell them, excuse me, I'm coming, I'm going to see the king. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's look around the room and ask your neighbor, are you saved? If they can't answer you, bring them up here so we can have this holy conversation with them. It's so important that you get Jesus today. Tomorrow's not promised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody need Jesus? How many of us got Jesus? Anybody glad you got him? Hallelujah. Come on, let's throw your head back and shout glory in the house of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. 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 Wonderful. He's a wonderful Savior. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blake, what do you need from the Lord this morning? What do you need from him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's here. He's here. He's here. Thank you, Jesus. He's here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's believe the Lord with them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Come on, help him out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And let the, let the brothers have them. Let the brothers have them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we're in agreement. Whatever he needs from you, whatever you know he needs, we pray that you would grant it in the name of Jesus. We pray for the cleansing power of your blood. We pray, God, that you move by your power in this life. God, we pray that you would fill every void. We pray, God, that you would just have your way in every place. Let your word permeate him in every place, in his mind, his heart, in every place, God. Bring about your results. Bring about your resolve in his life. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor, for it is so. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. what God is doing, what he started, he will finish, he will complete, and we praise our God. This was a special time. This was a special time, a needed time. Don't take this time for light. We had an assignment for those of us who are, were obedient to it. Isaiah 58, chapter I want to read a part of that. That was, we had five different scriptures to read over these past several days to get in our spirit and to let the Lord continue to speak. Isaiah 58 says, Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore, why have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore, why have we afflicted our soul and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in a day of your fast ye find pleasure and exact all your labors? Behold, the Lord says, ye fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. It is such a fast, the Lord says, that I have chosen. Is it a day for a man to flick his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this, the Lord says, the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go forth before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be Re-reward, thy re-reward. Then shall thou call, the Lord says, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shall cry, and he shall say, here I am. Yes. If thou take it away from the midst of thee, the yoke, the yoke of bondage, the yoke of sin, the yoke of enslavement, if thou take it away, from the midst of thee, the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, the wagging your finger at others, and speak in vanity. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then 
shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a water garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And they shall call, and they shall be of thee, shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, pleasure nor speaking thine own words, then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Can you put your hands together and just say, thank you, Lord, for speaking. The word of the Lord is blessed, and God's way will never be changed. What he saith, he means, and what he will do is based on what he has said. We've heard from the Lord in our private places. We've heard from the Lord again and again. Hope thou in God, then do what I said. Not for our voice to be raised, but for his voice to be raised and honored by the Lord. For he to reset this foundation, built on the word of God, built on repentance, built on restoration, built on him being the repairer of the breach. This is the word of the Lord. And we are blessed because of it. Because of the obedience unto the Lord, we are blessed. And the results are God's. The results are God's when we do it his way. Amen? Amen. Amen. We praise God for your obedience Amen. and my obedience because we are one. Amen. Two visitors, we just want to acknowledge and then I'll give it to Assistant Pastor Brown. We want to thank Keith Sanders and Charlene looks like Kipter, who was invited by Mary Lewis. We thank you for coming. And again, we praise our God for what he is yet doing in this body. What he started, he will complete. And he will get the glory. God bless you all. Come on, New Home, one more time. Put your hands together for the word of God on today. Media, can you put the subject back on the screen, please? Can you put the subject back on the screen? Come on, can we thank and appreciate God for our pastor? How God continues to use him for his glory, for his honor, for his praise. Let me leave you with this. What a blessing it's been today, how God has worked and done what he has done. But the work continues. The work continues. So there on the screen, I'm holding on to my hope. That's the work. That's our assignment. In a personal way, we have to hold on. And you have to take responsibility for holding on to the Word of God. I hope that's rooted and grounded in the Word of God. If you're not rooted and grounded in the Word of God, you're an unsettled foundation. You're in a house that's built on sand, it will crumble in the storm. But if you're rooted and grounded upon the Word of God, as that's where your hope is, you're still going to be tested. You're still going to be tried. You're still going to be challenged. You're still going to cry. You're still going to have to try to figure out some things. But in the midst of all of that, you can yet hold on. You can yet hold on. Because I'm holding on to my hope. And guess what my hope is? My hope is not in my hands. My hope is in his hands. When I'm holding on to hope, I'm holding on to his hands. And he's got mine. 
in here. Stand all over the place as we get ready to dismiss. Just remember, whatever you go through this week, keep holding on. Make it personal and hold on to your hope. Father, thank you so much for all you've done in this place on today. Continue the work you have begun, that you will get all the glory, that you will get all the honor, that you will get all the praise. I pray for this people now, even as we prepare to leave this place, I send them forth with your benediction that you will keep them. You will continue to sustain them. You will continue to hold us even as we embrace and hold on to you. So now unto you, God, who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of your glory with exceeding joy. You are the only wise God, our Savior. To you be glory, to you be majesty, all dominion and all power. It is in Jesus' name we pray, and all together we say, amen. God bless you all, and have a wonderful week.